Hey guys, it's Lauren and I want to talk to you guys about our new ski ergs and get everybody on the same page and skiing as efficiently as possible. So first of all, think of this like a rower, but it's standing up and it is a cyclical movement, which means you want to keep our heart rate up. It's actually based off a Nordic skiing movement. Um, and it, I think sometimes what I've noticed is people are only using one part of their body. So I'm going to go through some do's and don'ts and hopefully this helps you. The first thing that I've been seeing is there's a lot of people only using their arms. Okay, it's a full body movement, but what we've been seeing is grabbing the handles, make sure the butt goes into the bottom of your hand so it gives you something to push against so it doesn't slip through your hands. But a lot of times what we see is someone just using their arms. And although that's a fabulous arm workout, you're not getting the most out of using the ski erg, especially if we're trying to keep our heart rate up. The next thing we see is some people do actually use their core and engage their whole upper body, but they're not using their legs. So sometimes we'll see people grab the handles and kind of give a crunch and arms, but they're missing out on their legs. Just like the rowing machine, which I know all of you guys are familiar with, you use every part of your body and you even crunch down, you use your legs, they're super important. They're still very important when you're on the ski erg. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure we get our legs involved. Now there is a good way to get your leg involved and then there's a way we wanna avoid, okay? When we are going through the movement using our legs, what we wanna do is we want to pull our arms down, crunch our belly, and get into a hip hinge motion with your legs pretty bent. Almost think of like a hex bar deadlift. We want to get into that more deadlift position. What we want to avoid is keeping our chest up and doing almost like a piston squat with your chest high. Really think about like you had poles, you really want to get all the way down into a nice hinge, feeling it in the hamstrings. All right, so if you were going to put this all together, walking up to the ski erg, you'd walk up, you would grab the handles, you would stand far enough away, if you're taller you're going to be further, but you'd stand far enough away where you feel like your arms are out in front of you a little bit. And just like the rower, you want to put, make sure there's a little bit of tension on there. You don't want to start really hard at the top and jerk it. You want to start a little slower, grab that tension. Your arms are going to come all the way down. As your arms are coming down, you're going to crunch your stomach and you are going to go into a uh, deep hip hinge and squat at your knees. Okay? And then from here, sometimes we've seen people, you know, kind of butterfly it up. You want to follow the path straight back up to the top. And then you want to start all over again. Okay? Now, the other thing I want you guys to notice, you can get on your tippy toes. A lot of people feel like their feet are supposed to be glued to the bottom, but even if you're thinking about true Nordic skiing, you see people kind of get onto the balls of their toes, I know they're in boots, but that gets that momentum going, it'll help you go a little bit faster. So putting it all together, hands go up, you're going to pull down, get on your toes, and try and gently put them back on instead of snapping them back up. But hopefully those tips help you guys. Remember, we are trying to keep this moving. There is a damper just like the rower. There is a damper. If you're finding it too hard, move this nozzle all the way down. If you want it to be more difficult, go all the way up to a nine. But you can adjust it mid-workout. You can adjust it um, station to station. It doesn't really matter how you're feeling that day. Just make sure you make it. So you're feeling like you're getting a good cadence and it's not too, too difficult. All right. Hopefully that helps you guys. Enjoy our new ergs. They are awesome.